That's a big boy bite. Smaller. Yum. Oh, he's good. Yum. <laughs> What is going on my friends? Welcome to today's video. I just woke up, I'm heading to the gym, and we are hitting a vlog today because I haven't been on this channel in like three weeks and I've been feeling that I have a creative edge of me that's just not being fulfilled. I've been too like in the weeds lately. So now I get to vlog and show y'all my day. Topic of the video today is what to do when you feel like you've messed up on your diet because we're around the holiday season, Thanksgiving's behind us. Is there a car behind me? No. Thanksgiving's behind us, and a lot of us may not be feeling the best with how we treated that holiday. And I'm here to tell you it's okay, and I'll tell you exactly why in this video. So let's hit a chest session to get into the rest of the day. And I'll be haunted by the taste of your lips. Your lips on the house floor. Your lips on the house floor. So guys, when you travel home to visit the family, you borrow the grandparents' Subaru. Good old trusty Subaru, I swear to God. Okay, so anyways, chest workout predominantly, bit of shoulder as well, push session. You can actually get this full workout in my ultimate training split guide. It's a free book that I wrote. It's not really a full book. It's really like 22 pages of pure gold when it comes to training splits, like two day splits, three day splits, four day splits five-day splits, uh, I'll link it first, link in the description. I have been following a five-day split bodybuilding set workout, just like in a traditional gym. I have stopped CrossFit, I don't know, I didn't mention this on YouTube, I don't think, but I did start CrossFit pretty heavily two months ago, two and a half months ago. I will talk about why I stopped in another video, but yes, if you would like to go through a session like this, you can grab the Ultimate Training Split Guide. Let's go eat, it's my dad's birthday. What are you doing? That, that video clip you sent me, that was perfect. So yesterday for my dad's birthday, my brother, him, and I went skeet shooting. Oh. I am Stevie Wonder. Damn straight, now you're Ray Charles. <laughs> Took them up to Nemecolon Resort near my house in West Virginia. Skeet shooting, clay shooting. Uh, it was a good time. Fun. All right, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been off YouTube for like three weeks, so I have no idea if this lighting is good. Three weeks off of YouTube is like three years off of YouTube, right? So, cut me a little bit of slack in recording this sit down portion. Do you want to say something as well before we get into it? Everything on my website, basically everything I've created in the last year, is free. My FitBiz Breakthrough mini course teaching aspiring and current uh, online fitness coaches how to grow their business online. That is a free course on my website. You can go grab it now. This is all for Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Number two is the Fit CEO Commandments, a book I wrote, how to stay healthy and build a sustainable wellness routine for busy working professionals. That is free. Download the book on my website. Number three is the Ultimate Training Split Guide. You can go ahead and download that on the website. Two day splits, three day splits. I know I mentioned this earlier in the video. That's free, go ahead and grab it. And then number four, is my lean gain program, had to think for a second. Took me from 160 pounds to 200 pounds, 200 pounds plus, same body fat percentage, pure muscle gain over the course of years, but I just repeated this program that I created for myself. It's one cent on my website, so go ahead and grab it. What do you do when you've fallen off of your diet around the holidays? So I'm creating this video for a younger version of myself because I used to struggle with this so freaking much. Holidays would come, Family's here, friends are here, cookies, cake, you name it, and it's so enticing to indulge, and it's so hard to just hold back, right? And just stay perfectly on a diet. And I don't recommend that, but what happens when you go haywire? Because I used to do this, I would enter the holidays being like, no, I'm gonna be perfect on my diet, I'm gonna eat super healthy, but then it would go off the deep end. I would have something bad, and then it would kind of spiral out of control. I'd say, I've blown my diet, and now I get to indulge in all of the cookies, all of the cake, all the pie, you name it. Luckily, this Thanksgiving was not that for me because I have a much healthier relationship with my wellness routine. However, those of you watching who maybe feel like you've blown your diet or you've, take a, you've stepped back with your progress, I'm gonna put things in perspective for you, all right? What is the point of building your physique? What is the point of building your body? It's to feel better, it's to live more life, it's to have more confidence, it's to have more vitality, it's to you know have more energy, right? More, more energy, vitality throughout the day. So 
what's one day of indulging a little bit, right? What's one day of going over your calorie goals? What's one day, right? It's okay. It's completely okay if you've blown your diet, if you've had one too many cookies, or even 10 too many cookies, seriously. Um, the amount of damage you can do in a day, if we're actually gonna play this out on a mathematical scale, you know, let's say you, your, your goal is 2,000 calories per day, and you go way over, let's say you took in 4,000 calories that day, you doubled your caloric goal, so you'd be extremely, extremely uncomfortably full at that point, but at that point, you still have consumed less than a pound of fat that's actually gonna be put on your frame, right? So, a pound of fat, to gain a pound of fat, it's 3,500 calories. That's what we need to consume to put on a pound. If you go 2,000 calories over your goal, well, that's only 2,000 calories. That's not 3,500, right? So, even if we feel like we've completely blown our diet and we're totally off the deep end, the reality is we haven't done as much damage as we're getting, giving ourselves credit for, right? And sure, the next day, because of the amount of food that you've eaten and water retention and salt, you know, and because your body's thrown out of its homeostasis, you probably retain it, you may be up six pounds or up 10 pounds even. But over the course of the next three days, the next week, you're gonna slide back down to your normal weight, especially if you just start eating as normal after the uh, indulging, right? Over Thanksgiving, over Christmas. And that brings me to my point. What do you do in that moment? So now we have in perspective, it's not that big of a deal. So please just internalize that. It's really not that big of a deal. We prioritize the holidays to be with family, build our relationships with friends, be there for others, right? Food, while it is a big focus, it's only on the side, right? Food doesn't bring us happiness. Food, well, some of us it does. Food doesn't, you know, communicate us with us and elicit emotion and support us, family and friends do. So anyways, kind of a side tangent here. What you do, and this is the point of this clip, is what you do is just get back to your normal diet, right? So get back to the way that you were eating before, right? A healthy, well-balanced diet, 80% of the time, 70, 80% of the time you're eating nutritious, whole foods, lean protein sources, starchy carbohydrates to refuel you after your workouts, healthy fat sources, and then, you know, 20, 30% of the time you're eating really like whatever the hell you want. Uh, going to the movies, getting some freaking cookie dough bites, going, getting some popcorn, like whatever that may be, because we're all about freaking balance on this channel, and anyone else who isn't about that, it's not the channel for you, I don't think. You know, I'm about living your life and having your fitness routine fit into your life, your busy life, right? So, we're not going to undo the damage that we've done, we're not gonna do Oh, I'm gonna do extra cardio the next three days to kind of mitigate the damage I did. We're not gonna do that because that starts an unhealthy pattern where we reinforce it in our brain, that habit that, oh, next time I overeat, I'm just gonna undo my damage. And sometimes we can even start planning for that. I've experienced this personally. Oh, I'm gonna go over my diet, I'm gonna go over my calories, I'm gonna eat whatever, but it's okay because I'm gonna do extra activity tonight or tomorrow or whatever it may be. Very unhealthy cycle to get into. We're not gonna do that. That's bad reinforcement. What we're gonna do is say, hey, look, here's the deal. I may have eaten more today than I would have liked. Wipe my hands of it, it's all good. I forgive myself. I give myself the grace of loving myself, forgiving myself, and I'm gonna sleep on this shit, I'm gonna get up tomorrow, and I'm gonna be my healthy damn self that I usually am, right? I'm gonna go to the gym as I normally would. If I would have normally done cardio that day, I would do cardio. If I wasn't gonna do cardio, I wouldn't do it, right? Back into the normal routine. Forgiving yourself, it's all good. I've learned my lesson. If you have to journal on it, I find that helpful. Or something I do as of recent is leave a voice memo for yourself on your phone. Sometimes I have voice memos on my phone where I'm literally talking to myself because I just need to get the thoughts out and sometimes I'll re-listen to it. Just talk about a lesson that you learned based on some action that you, you took. Hey, you wanna know what, Brian? Or just this, uh, this can be a personal voice memo log. Uh, I found that when I hang around the kitchen, around the holidays and with my family, I tend to pick at food because I see it and it just is calling my name and I can't help it and I can put it off for a portion of the day, but by the end of the day, I just start picking and then it just turns into a cycle. One turns into three, three turns into five, and then I feel bad about myself and I feel bad and I feel like I've blown it. So something I know that I could do is probably spend less time hanging around the kitchen. That's just an example, right? So in, as a precursor to starting our day, wiping our hands, is we can reflect a little bit. So reflect on why things went haywire, why things didn't go 
the way that they should so you're equipped next time to get ahead of it to notice your pattern because you know the reason that you that you kind of go off of your diet is because you're triggered in some certain way something happens um, you know maybe one of your uh, relatives or your your one of your someone in your immediate family offers you some food and you accept it because you're not sure how to communicate them to them what goals you have what your fitness goals are so oh shit I noticed like when Aunt Marie that's my mom's sister Aunt Marie offered me some food I just said yes like I accepted it then I ate it and I actually felt bad and I knew that like I didn't need it well why is that it's because I getting to the underlying problem I didn't know how to communicate my fitness goals clearly to her whereas I could have looked at her and said I have certain goals that I'm committed to and it's actually gonna prevent me from eating this but I'm gonna save it for tomorrow but whatever it may be I have a goal of XYZ I'm looking to lean out a bit I'm looking to gain some muscle and I assure you more times than not your relative is gonna be interested in what the goal is. Like, oh, like, what are you doing? Like, what is that? Tell me a bit more about that. And then you get to educate them. Like, hey, this is actually going over my caloric goals and it's important for us to monitor calories because X, Y, Z, it can turn into a teaching moment. So that's an example too, is get clear on the trigger point or where things went wrong, right? So I hope that makes sense. So the takeaway of this video, guys, is if you've fallen off your diet, get back into your normal routine, one, and two, reflect on why things went bad, quote unquote bad, I don't like that word, but bad in the first place, right? Why did you fall off the routine? Was it, you know, food being around? Was it you were offered food? Was it, it could be many different things. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you go ahead and download any of the free resources, I'm curious to see if you do download any of them and see them serve you and support you. And then next thing is, I'd like to get a gauge this rascal I'd like to get a gauge on if y'all would enjoy me doing vlogmas so I did this two years ago a video every single day in December however uh, I haven't done that in quite a bit of time I've been occupied doing other things and quite honestly I haven't wanted to post on YouTube as much simply because my laptop renders videos extremely slowly but I finally just ended up buying a new laptop I was putting it off for a while because I don't like transferring everything but this is gonna cut my render time for YouTube videos like the one you're watching from like an hour and a half down to three, four minutes. So it's gonna be huge in terms of productivity gains. And yeah, so I'll be in a position to post videos more often. So if you would like me to do Vlogmas, post a video every single day, nutrition tips, training tips, lifestyle, mindset, things, just things, let me know and uh, perhaps we can make it happen. So hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Quick, short, sweet, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.